Okay, right, this is gonna be very interesting. If it works, I'm gonna be super happy. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this though. Remove waypoint. Okay, we can see the runway. We can see it. Everything is fine. We are still descending. Okay, we are still going down. That's all fine, we got no flaps. Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we've actually got something really interesting to show you guys. This is an Airbus A350 1000 XWB British Airways, uh, and it was built by Thingamabob, which is, again, an awesome name. Uh, so, we're going to be taking off from Harrison Airport, which is where we are right now. Uh, we're just going to taxi straight down there, we're going to turn around and we're going to take off that direction. Uh, and hopefully we'll fly straight over to the other airfield and land. Uh, whether that's actually going to happen or not, I'm not so sure. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, the way in is just through here, I believe. You just got to jump and grab a hold of this. And then eventually you'll get put inside. Uh, which is nice. Um, so, yeah. We're going to go ahead and get to the cockpit. And um, we'll see what happens from there. Alright, so, cabin. Here it is. You just go up through the floor, which is an interesting way of doing things. There we go. It is a little bit laggy, if I'm honest. So we're going to go ahead and close that up. There we go. Nice. Uh, the buttons, it's 350 to get through the doorway. There we go. Now we press toggle button and we can get inside. Nice. So there are a few instructions to actually how to fly this thing. Um, I will go through them in a second. Um, but this is cool. This is really cool looking. Okay, so it says, get into the cockpit using the code 350. Turn on battery one located on the overhead panel. Uh, bleh. <laughs> battery one. There we go. Battery one is on. Turn on the APU master switch and press APU starter. Uh, APU gen. Okay. APU master switch. Where in the heck would that be? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that would be. APU master. Okay. And then the APU starter. No need to hold the button. Roger that. Okay, cool. So that's good. Uh, it should... S wait. It now should start automatically. Once started, turn off the battery. Alright, there we go. Turn off the battery. There we go. Battery is off. Amazing. Uh, toggle the bus tie and APU generator. Uh, the bus tie is somewhere up here. Bus tie. I can't do anything with that. APU gen and bus tie. There we go. All right, nice. Um, and then what does that do? And and that's it. All right, cool. Select APU on the forward avionics panel. Uh, da -da -da -da. APU, APU. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Brakes, that's fine. Rollover hood, heading, GPS. Autopilot, no, none of that. Okay, right, APU. I don't know. I don't know what we do there. Um, so, so yeah. Cool. Small screen above the landing gear button. Ah. Here we go. APU. All right, good. Now what do we do? Oh, dude, this is, this is insane. Um, okay. All right. Watch the APU RPS rise till the circle is half full. All right, we're way past that. <laughs> Now flip the engine one and two gen switches. Okay. Engine one gen switch. I would have thought the other one would be right next to it, but it's not, so I don't know where that is. Engine two gen switch. All right, they're flicked. Good. And toggle the bleed air crossfeed on the overhead panel. Uh, bleed air crossfeed. Where is that? I don't know. Bleed air crossfeed valve. We found it. All right, nice, good. Uh, flip the cutoff switches on the middle console. Okay, cutoff switches right there. And now what do we do? <laughs> um, and press the auto starter button located underneath the engine one cutoff. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. Good, we did it. 
That's fine. Watch the engine RPS rise on the screen in the middle of the forward avionics panel. I don't... I don't see it. There we go. That's fine. All right, cool. Um, now press hydraulic pumps of system yellow and green on the... Oh, what? <laughs> what? Hydraulic pumps of yellow and green. Yellow and green. Okay, I think that's what we were supposed to do, but I'm not entirely sure. All right, good. Turn off the APU. No, wait, we don't do that yet. Do we? Fuel balance is advised. I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm sure this is fine. Uh, above 10. What's the RPS running? What's the engine RPS at? I don't know. Hold on. APU. Power. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, we're going to turn the APU off. How do I turn it off? There we go. All right, everybody ready? We're just going to go for it now. Okay, turn this off. It would suck if we died now. So I'm going to actually try and attempt to take off properly here. Here we go. Right, so what does it say on the bottom? Silence alarms, arm thrust reverses, activates when throttle is below 0.30. All right, that's interesting to know. Throttle up and down is on up and down. All right, that's good. And the brakes are already off, so that's nice. All right, all the lights need flicking on, though. So we got wing lights. We got... What? Okay. Strobe lights, beacon lights, nav lights, logo lights. And that's all we need. All right, cool. Let's throttle up a bit. Okay. We've throttled up. We should now start moving. We are moving. We're actually moving. This is good. This is exactly what planes are supposed to do, apparently. They're supposed to move. That front wheel is having a bit of a hard time, though. There we go. All right, we're going. This is awesome. This is really cool. We appear to have came to like a little bit of a stop, uh, not entirely sure why, so I'm throttling up again and hopefully we won't take off and hopefully we can make it around this bend uh, in, in time to like take off on the runway. I, I, I genuinely don't know how this is going to go, so um, I'm going to take it quite slow, but I don't know, to get this thing moving it seems to take quite a lot of force. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Uh, right, okay, brakes are going to go on because wow. Uh, and everything's shaking. All right, interesting. If we can make it around this corner and line ourselves up properly, that would be beautiful. That would be beautiful. Whether that's going to happen or not is another story. Front landing gear appears to be having issues. However, we are doing the turn. We are drifting around the corner. And then eventually we can floor it into those mountains right there. Okay, so apparently this is like almost as good as I can do. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, we haven't done very good, very good job here. We have not done very good job. We're going off the runway. We're off the runway with our front landing gear. Oh boy. We're off the, we're okay. We're off with the back landing gear as well. It, it turns out we're going to have a bumpy takeoff. A bit of a bumpy takeoff is, is happening. Okay, please don't break anything. Things are breaking already. Our front is in the air. Our landing gear has broken slightly. But we are flying. So we are actually in the sky. Landing gear is coming up. There we go. The doors open up. The landing gear goes in. And the doors should close. Please. We might have broken an engine. I don't know what's going on there. but Yep. Doors do close. Awesome. And we are flying. The A350 is in the sky. There is a lot of like fluid coming off of this engine and um, I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> There's just lots of fluid in there. Uh, that, is, that is a bit weird. A little bit weird. Now, I don't imagine this thing will be able to land at Billy's airport. Uh, however, we might as well do a flyby. So, let's fly by Billy's airport and then we'll do a proper landing. Okay, so we got a plane that, that can climb pretty much vertically, which is uh, interesting. The water coming off of those those engines is very strange, uh, but actually, to be fair, it is flying really nicely. 
Uh, it looks like I'm lining up to fly underneath that bridge. Uh, but at the same time, I think we are far too big to actually fit under there. I think our wingspan is a little bit too big for the bridge, so we're not even going to attempt to go under it, but we will fly near it uh, just to see the difference. The size of this plane versus, uh, versus the width of the bridge. We might as well do it. Terrain! Pull up! Terrain! We're going to mute the alarms, that's fine. Uh, roll leveler, we'll go ahead and put that on. A hood? I can't see that, that's fine. Uh, altitude hold, heading hold, and we've got GPS, which gets put in there. Uh, so, altitude hold... If we set it to around 400, there we go, and pop that on, good. We can also put in a GPS location where we want to fly to, over here somewhere, and that'll be good. All right, cool. Flush that in there. Go ahead and select it as a thing, and off we go. Wait, what does taxi assistance do? I have no idea, but we're flying, so that's nice. That's very nice. Um, but yeah, the main reason that I actually did this is uh, so we can have a look around in the back because we haven't done that. We haven't had a look around in the back. Oh, maybe it might be a bad idea. Maybe. What's that? Oh, an escape hatch. Okay, we got an escape hatch in this thing. Okay, let's go through the door and we'll have a little look around. It is very slow. So in the front, we've got like first class and then we got like premium economy or maybe we just got economy. Yeah, it looks like we go straight to economy. Interesting. Very interesting. And if we go even further back, we got more economy. Amazing. Uh, but if we go all the way to the back, we should have some toilets, which I guess this is... Uh, eh. Wait, what is this? Crew rest. Code on right side. No way, they've actually put a crew rest in here. This is where people can go to go to sleep. Uh, the crew. That's where the crew can go to go to sleep. All right, close that up. Beautiful. Uh, we got a toilet, um, we got a door, we got an actual toilet, that looks like somewhere for hangers, okay, and we got the uh, canteen, no, what do you call it? I can't remember what you call it on a plane, but the place where they prepare meals and things, what do they call it? And we got another one in the middle of the plane too, as well as some more doors, like proper doors, I'm not going to open them because that's scary, but yeah, another toilet as well, nice, and yeah, more stuff, amazing. Dude, this is cool. This is very cool. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't crashed into anything, because I was totally expecting that. Uh, but if we do this, the monitors don't appear to work. Is this one? Oh, that one does. We got a camera. Dude, that camera is insane. I love that. Whenever I've seen that in real life, it's, it's awesome. It is so cool. Uh, and then we got more in the front as well, uh, which is pretty nice. So anyway, we're going to get back inside here. I'm going to close that door. And we're going to fly over to the other airfield, which currently I can see. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so this is where we start to have uh, issues. Uh, we're going to turn off the GPS autopilot. We're going to turn off altitude hold, and we're going to go left because we want to park it. Or we want to come in from the left side rather than the right because we have to dip down if we fly over that mountain, which is definitely, definitely not what we want to do. <laughs> Uh, but I really do want to give this a good go at landing, so that's exactly what we'll try. I figured I'd see what it looked like on a night time, and uh, this is this is what it looks like on a night time. Uh, it's very bright, and I can't work out what that light is. What is that light for? I, I don't know. Uh, can we turn off some wing lights? Is that what it is? Oh, it's wing lights. There we go. Uh, so when it's flying at night time, it'll, it'll look like this for a bit. Uh, but it'll also look like, uh, how do I dim the lights? There's a button somewhere for dim lights, right? If I remember correctly, I don't know where it is though. Uh, I have no idea. Dimmed cockpit lights. All right, maybe we just want those. Um, I can't find where the thing is. I swear there was a, there was a there was a thing. There was a. Oh, good night. No, 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 no. Where's the button for it? I can't remember where the button is. But you can dim the back lights in the cabin. Yeah, you can do that. I just don't know where. Interesting. Anyway, doesn't really matter because we are going to be landing at daytime. Yes. Uh, we're going to turn ourselves around. And if we can see the runway, which I currently can't. Where's the runway at? Where is said runway? 
Why can't I see it? Can you guys see it? Can anyone see the runway? I've lost the runway. It must be all the way back there. I'm pretty sure it's on the other side of these two big uh, puddles. <laughs> on the other side of the two big puddles. It must be. Hold on, let's have a little look. Puddle, runway. All right, let's set that as a thing. And we'll be there eventually. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the altitude hold again because I did put that on for a second. We're also gonna lower the landing gear now and we're gonna throttle back because we need idle. Wait, is that right? Will it fly at 35? That doesn't sound right. But maybe it will, I don't know. Um, right, okay, deploy rat, R-A-T. I don't know what that is. Trim up, trim down, that's fine for your suppression. Backlights, lock the cockpit door and enable our transponder. Yes. Are we falling out of the sky right now? I can't tell. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's a ram air turbine. Provides electricity and hydraulic power in case of engine failure. Interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, right, come on. We're gonna go in for a successful landing. That's what we're gonna go in for. Whether we actually come out with that or not, uh, different story, I think. Different story nose. Landing gear is all locked in. That's good. Alright, cool. We're ready. We are ready. You know what? I think I might actually try this in first person. There's no real... There's not a very good reason for me to try in first person. Um, but I think it it's a good idea. Now, I think it'd be fun. It, it's probably more fun doing it like this. Let's put our landing lights on. They're really bright. Yes. Okay, right. This is going to be very interesting. If it works, I'm going to be super happy. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this, though. Remove waypoint. Okay, we can see the runway. We can see it. Everything is fine. We are still descending. Okay, we are still going down. That's all fine. We got no flaps. We don't actually have any flaps, do we? No, we got none. That's fine. All right, we're going in for a landing. Here we go. Here we go indeed. This feels really slow, but it's it's going down. It's working. I might be off center <laughs> by quite a way. But if we pull up, our back landing gear is on the ground. Our front landing gear is on the ground. And we have landed. I didn't even turn the brakes on. We just landed in this really tiny area. That's insane. That's super cool. All right, slam those brakes on and it should stop. And we have had an amazing flight. We did it. That's awesome. Oh, I locked the door. Hold on. There we go. Now we can get out. That is actually super cool. I love it. Let's see what these doors are like. So it just pushes them round and out. And that is, that is amazing. I like it. What an awesome plane. Alright, well anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end this video here. If you guys want to check this thing out, then I'll link it down below and you guys can fly around in it for yourselves. Uh, do note that it does lag your game out a little bit. As you can see, I'm running in slow motion. Um, but it is actually super cool. He's been working on this for a long time. And um, yeah, he did a really good job. He did a really good job. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.